Hello comic book guys and gals and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I am your host, Bill Miller. This is a special Christmas edition of our vlog. As we take a look at Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer from DC Comics. This is issue number 11. And this is a 13-issue series. This particular issue was produced between 1960 and 1961. So turn the volume up just a hair. Turn the lights down just a smidgen. Sit back, relax, and let your imagination paint the pictures as we read Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer issue number 11. On the cover we have Santa Claus awarding Rudolph with a badge that says fastest nose in the West. Extra, a fun and game section included. So on the interior of the front cover is a a puzzle where you search the best route between the beginning and the end. All right. The splash page is Rudolph with what looks to be a squirrel or chipmunk on his back. He's got a cowboy hat on, a sash with a badge. And it looks like they've got a couple desperados tied up that they're pulling behind them. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. yippee -ay! Here comes Rudolph, the fastest nose in the West. Hooray, Rudolph! yippee -ay! Ooh, every year the toys are getting bigger and bigger. I guess everybody forgot that good things come in small packages. Now Rudolph and that squirrel are loading up a sack with toys. And some of the elves are helping. Ugh! They proclaim as they lug a big sack around. Santa Claus has been complaining lately about how his bones were aching. He must be thinking about these toys he's going to have to deliver. Hmm, there should be some way, Grover, we can take a load off poor Santa's shoulders this Christmas. I don't know, Rudolph. Maybe we should leave well enough alone. Golly, Grover, if everybody felt that way, there'd never be any progress. They laughed at Columbus. They laughed at Fulton. Yeah, and they'll laugh at you, too. Take my advice, Rudolph. Keep your nose out of Santa's problems. Say, that gives me an idea. And Rudolph's nose continues to glow throughout these panels. Uh-oh, here we go again. I'll bet I can discover a chemical that will shrink toys just until they're delivered. <laughs> now, <laughs> now Rudolph and Grover are in a lab. Oh, boy, won't Santa be surprised when he finds out what I'm doing? Yeah, and he'll be angry, too. Golly, Grover, don't be such an old buddy, Doug. Why not look at the bright side of things? I I am. For, from the looks of things, it's going to be very bright any second. Huh? And there's a beaker and a flask that are full of mixed chemicals that are starting to smoke. And all of a sudden, <laughs> a huge explosion in the lab. And Grover and Rudolph are thrown outside. Are you all right, Grover? Yes, Rudolph. No thanks to you. Don't get mad. After all, I was only thinking about helping Santa Claus old aching bones. Yeah. Now, besides carrying the Christmas toys, he'll have to fix up the workshop when he gets back. Well, you must admit it was a good idea if it worked. Ha ha. I knew it was silly from the start. Imagine anyone being able to discover a chemical that will make things smaller for a short while. Puk, 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 puk. And we see a transformation as Rudolph starts getting smaller in stature. Take my advice. Quit while we're still in one peak. Rudolph, where are you? Rudolph, stop kidding. Who, who's kidding? Yikes, you did it. Don't just stand there to do something. And Rudolph is very small. Do? What can I do? Find something to unshrink me before Santa gets here. Oh, boy, what a mess. Maybe I'd better spill that chemical over me, too. If I get small enough, Santa won't find me. So Grover heads back into the lab. Hmm. 
This book might be a help to Rudolph. What's going on down there? Oh, it's Santa. Start running. I heard Santa Claus coming. Whoosh. I dodge behind a tree. But Grover has that book. There should be a section on how to make things bigger. Hurry up. I'm looking. I'm looking. D don't get excited. Ah, here it is. In case chemicals accidentally spill on you and make you smaller, go west, young man. Go west. You'll need genuine cactus juice to bring you back to your original size. Cactus juice? Well, come on. What are you waiting for? Er, you forgot one little detail. How do we get there? The helicopter. What else? Uh-oh. Santa isn't going to like this. <laughs> There's a... It's a helicopter in a hangar uh, that they're running toward. Haven't I got enough trouble without you making unnecessary remarks? Okay, okay, just remember, this was your idea. Come back with that helicopter, Grover. Santa catches them zooming off in the helicopter. We, I can't explain, Santa. I'll explain later. Zoom, there goes the helicopter. Oh boy, Santa Claus sure looks mad. Are we going to catch it when we get back? What do you mean, we? Well, I mean, what do you mean, we? You're so small, he didn't even see you. Don't worry about that, Grover. I'll take the whole blame. I'm sure Santa will forgive me when I explain why this happened. Maybe, Rudolph. That is, if we get back in time for the Christmas trip. Mm, I didn't think of that. There's something else I didn't think of. Huh? Who? Who's flying this ship? You are. That's funny. I never flew one before. N neither did I. N now he tells me. You are in your ideas, Rudolph. The, the toys were too big for Santa to carry. H his old bones were aching and the helicopter is zipping all across the sky. We'll be lucky if we come out of this with any bones, old or otherwise. To take a look, Grover, see where we are. Never mind. I'm worried enough now. Zoom, bunk. And now the helicopter goes upside down. Uh-oh, what happened? We seem to have lost the plane. Well, don't just lie there. Find it. Maybe we're better off without it. Uh-oh, here we go again. Oof, ouch. And the helicopter flips back and rights itself. But it's still on a crash course. Ooh, I, I can't look. It crashes into the ground and throws Rudolph and Grover into a little desert pond, if you will. <laughs> they spit up some water and get out. Let's be thankful if we landed in one piece and right near a nice crop of cactus plants. That will make me bigger. If it works. What do we do now? You're supposed to squeeze the juice out of the cactus and I'm supposed to rub it on me. Ouch! How am I supposed to do that? I can't even touch the cactus. We'll just have to break the needles off first. Oh, great. We'll be here all day. These cactus have a million needles. Look, Grover, are you here to help me or needle me? <laughs> one for you and one for me. One, huh? Grover's pulling the needles off the cactus. Har har, I feel real nasty today. Me too, partner. What mean thing do we do today? In a, exiting a cave are two desperados. Yowch, yow. Hey, did you hear something? <laughs> Maybe it's one of those mirages. And both Rudolph and Grover jumped and landed on some cactus. Har har, you don't see, hear mirages, you see them. Yeah, that's right, partner. I reckon the sound came from behind them cactus bushes. Maybe we ought to take a look. The sheriff might have trailed us here. <laughs> that dumb sheriff couldn't catch a rabbit. Well, what do you know? A groundhog and a red-nosed baby deer. A groundhog? I guess I was wrong with this squirrel. Rudolph says, er, we can explain. Yes. What do you know? They can talk. Yeah, so start talking. You see, we had to get some cactus, and what are you waiting for? They want some cactus. Let's give it to them. Yeah, that's a good idea. You're both very nice, and we thought you were outlaws. Or <laughs> let's just say we're nice outlaws. Yeah, we do like to do mean things. Er, you do? 
Like what, for instance? Or like this, for instance. And they, they cut off uh, cactus petals, and they're starting to throw them at Rudolph and Grover. And Rudolph and Grover are running into the cave from which the outlaws exited. I'll bet you a pair of spurs I hit one of them first. <laughs> I got him. Yow! Ping, ching, ping. And they're hiding in the cave with pieces of cacti and bullets flying in at them. Yikes! First they throw cactus and now they're shooting bullets. I don't think a bullet can hurt any worse than the cactus did. Wow, it looks like that cactus that hit you did some good. Plop, 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 plop. And Rudolph grows back to full size. Oh boy, I'm big again. Ping, ping, ping. Bullets continue to fly into the cave. You're a bigger target too. Let's get out of here. Which way? Not that way. It's a good thing I have my nose with me. Maybe we can find another way out. So, so start shining it. Do, do you see what I see? Yipes, hundreds of Christmas packages. Inside the cave, there's a cache of wrapped gifts. Hey, where'd he come from? What happened to the little deer? Har har, reckon me must have scared him so much he got older in a hurry. Sir, I'm Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and I demand you put down those guns. Or we'll tell Santa Claus. Har har, they're going to tell Santa Claus on us. Oh, I'm frightened. Har har, so you're the great Rudolph we've been hearing every Christmas about. Funny looking critter if you ask me. Moments later, if Santa Claus uses this critter's nose, so can we. What are you going to do with him? So they tied a rope around Rudolph's midsection. And they're putting the other end of the rope around what looks to be some sort of log toward the top of the cave. First, I throw this rope over the top of that rock. Mm -hmm. We always needed a light in the cave. Har, har. Yeah, now we can see all the Christmas presents we steal. <laughs> and they're winching Rudolph up, using his nose as a floodlight. Come on, there's still a few ranches we haven't broken into yet. What do we do now? If you think I'm going to hang, hang around here like a light fixture, you're greatly mistaken. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer never quits. I got a few tricks up my sleeve, or nose, those outlaws never heard about. Or just one thing, Rudolph. What happens to you when the rope breaks? I'll worry about that when I come to it. Rudolph is using his, the light from his nose to burn through the rope. Now he falls to the cave floor. Oof! I came to it. Are you all right? Of course, but where did all the birds and stars come from? Ah, that's better. A cave is no place for stars and birds. It's no place for us either, so untie me already. Okay, you're loose, Grover. Now come on. Those two outlaws can't be far from here. I think they went that away. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's all I wanted to know. I'm going this away. <laughs> come back here, Grover. Don't you realize it's our duty to capture the outlaws? Er, no, I've decided to let the sheriff of this town take care of that. Grover, those bad men are Christmas present rustlers. That's even worse than horse thieves. Er, I'll admit that's bad, but not bad enough to make me forget they also have guns and that I'm a coward. Oh, Grover, I'm just as scared as you are. Now stop arguing and come on. So they're at the top of a mesa, it looks like. It looks like they're coming to us. And they see the a wagon filled full of gifts with the outlaws and a couple of horses pulling it. And they run down this spur into the direction of the outlaws. Come on, Rudolph, don't stand here. They'll see us and capture us again. Not if I can help it. I'm real mad. I know you're mad, but you don't have to be silly, too. Stop. Whoa. Hey, what are we stopping for? Drop your guns. We've got you covered. So Rudolph stopped them. It looks like the lawmen were also on their tail. Okay, you two. The town jail has two nice cells for you. Yup, you've stolen your last Christmas package. Har, you'd have never caught us if it wasn't for that pesky-nosed critter. Never mind the unnecessary remarks, or I might forget I'm a gentleman. You wouldn't talk so tough if I wasn't covered. Oh, yeah? I'll fight you any time. How about now, big nose? Har, har, give him a gun, somebody. I fight fair. 
So he disarmed one of the lawmen, and he's holding a gun on Rudolph. Here, partner, you better take this. You'll need it. He's the quickest gun in the rest in the West. Just a minute. I don't shoot guns. That's too bad, because I'm going to walk back ten paces and start firing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come, ready or not. D don't just stand there, Rudolph. Do something. So Rudolph turns around, and with all his might, he shines his light in the direction of the outlaw. Hey, who turned on the lights? I can't see where I'm aiming. What happened? Ha <laughs> ha, you may be the quickest gun on the rest in the West, but Rudolph is the quickest nose in the West, and he outdrew you. All right, now we see Santa on the scene. It's a lucky thing for you, the Sheriff of Cactus Colts called and told me what you did to capture those Christmas present rustlers. He's talking to Rudolph now. Huh. And as for the reason you got into all this trouble in the first place, all I can say is, here's your Christmas present from me. Huh? And he pins a star on Rudolph's fastest nose in the West. Now come on, Rudolph, as they say in the West, reckon we got a lot of territory to cover. <laughs> right, partner? Uh, er, Santa? Ho, ho, Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. And that is the end of the story. There's also some puzzles. Um toward the end of the book that are all related to Christmas. And on the back of the book, it says, Happy Holidays from Rudolph. And that will do it for our Christmas vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed hearing it. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted as soon as I release more content. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time. Merry Christmas.